Hello everyone, greetings and welcome back. This is Randy and 2COA. What I'd like to do for you today is um, this is a spin off of a YouTube video by L W two AEW who was demonstrating how to use an oscilloscope and a function generator to determine the length of a piece of coax. Um, <clears throat> during that video he mentioned uh, measuring a time delay between the uh, source of the function generator pulse and the uh, delay where it's fed into channel 2 on the oscilloscope and take that time and do some numbers and and come up with length of the coax that way. I don't believe we did it on the video but I thought I would try that and do it for you here today. Um, in his video he mentioned that in free space um, radio waves um, propagate approximately 11.8 inches per nanosecond of time um, and he mentioned a coax with um, I forget a velocity factor of 0.67 or something in my case it's 0.69 with the coax I'm using and that the velocity factor was um, a number that indicates uh, how much the uh, electrical signal is slowed down by the cable, the coax cable as it uh, propagates through it because it's a media, so that happens. So if you multiply the 11.8 inches per nanosecond times the velocity factor for the coax that I'm using in our demonstration, you come up with um, 8.14 inches per nanosecond. Okay. So what you've got uh, on, that you're looking at on the scope here now, <coughs> the yellow trace, that trace is the uh, start of the pulse, and that's coming from the function generator and going into the channel here, channel 1. It's terminated because the uh, input on the scope is in the mega ohms and you need to properly terminate the signal to 50 ohms because the coax is 50 ohms, the characteristic impedances, and the impedance of the source of the function generator is also 50 ohms. And then that's fed into the input of the coaxial cable in question that we're checking. And then the output of that cable is fed into channel 2 through uh, termination as well, so it's properly terminated. And that is the trace you're looking at here, the blue trace uh, on channel 2. I've got cursors set up here. Uh, between channel 1 yellow and channel 2 blue and if you look at those uh, you'll see that there's a delay between the start of 1 and the start of 2 this is the, the delay that Al was talking about and the cursors uh, set where they are at the beginning of both of those rise times shows a delta of 108 nanoseconds so there is a delay of 108 nanoseconds between the start of the signal on channel 1 to where it comes to go through the coax and comes back and then it's fed into channel 2 now <coughs> if you take the, that information I've written it down here for us so approximately 108 nanoseconds of delay um, and it's uh, 8.14 inches per nanosecond, so if you multiply those two together, you get a length of inches, which, I don't know, 8 or 900 inches, I forget exactly what it was. And then you divide that by 12, because there's 12 inches in a foot, gives you approximately 73.26 feet. And I know for a fact that the coax is 73 and a half feet. So, you know, that's pretty close. And when it comes to this, it's not an exact science, but it's handy because, I mean, if you had a, you know, some coax rolled up and it's like you know 100 feet or so and you know who wants to unravel that whole mess and measure it and all that I mean this is close enough really for that type of thing like you know it's 75 foot to that antenna and uh, you do this and you say oh I got 90 feet of coax that's more than accurate enough to know that that coax is going to reach without having to uh, you know unravel it and measure it etc cetera, etc cetera. So that's really kind of it. Just wanted to show you that you can also do the same thing Al did uh, with his video, uh, doing the uh, delay on the coax and the signals. 
Um, and again, I mentioned this before, but um, W2AEW has a YouTube channel, has a lot of really excellent videos. I would highly recommend um, you know, running through those and seeing which ones might be of interest in watching them. They are, they're, they're really, really good. Um, by the way, the oscilloscope I'm using is a Rigel DS1102E. It's a 100 megahertz scope. It's a really nice scope. Even though it says it's a 100 megahertz scope, um, that's the, you know, I probably the 3 dB bandwidth points in the scope. I've measured up to 400 megahertz in the scope. So it's, uh, it goes higher than it says. It's just that, you know, the amplitude accuracy would not be as good, obviously, because um, we're past the 3 dB bandwidth point when you do that but it does uh, view it. So, uh, very good scope. Um, one thing I love about it, I don't know if I can turn this on, or we give it a try really quick. I got not that much time on the video yet, so I believe it was this not display, what was it? Haven't used this in a while, so it's not display, maybe it's measure. Yeah, measure, display all. If you do display all, it literally throws up here Everything that it could possibly measure about this waveform um, in here. It's got max, min, peak, uh, just you name it, it's in here. Some of this stuff's not in here, like pulse width and duty cycle and period and all that, because I don't have the entire uh, pulse in here. I could do that, I guess, really quick. Just we'll crank the time base back so we can get the entire pulse in here, and that should populate those fields. See, now those fields are populated, so it's saying like, you know, 81.97 kilohertz, which is close, I have it set to 82. And 50% uh, duty cycle, so on, so on. It's even got the rise time and the fall time in nanoseconds, so... It's a nice scope, I really like it. Anyway, <coughs> that's it. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you have the right equipment, it's a lot of fun to uh, do all this different stuff, and there's just, just so much that you can do and measure and investigate and satisfy your curiosity. <laughs> Uh, it's, it's all good stuff. I really enjoy it. I love ham radio. Been a ham since uh, 1972. So anyway, seven threes to all. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you managed to uh, learn something from it. This is N2CUA. Signing clear.